Monica started her professional career a long time ago. As a teenager, she was a part of a rap group called Sound and Sound. Members of the group included Ebony Bankole, Mr. Cool, and the late Mustafa Amigo. She later left the group and became a backup singer for top musicians like Majek Fashek, Sonny Okoso, Evi Etna, and many more. She did a lot of studio work for lots of artists, voiceover and jingle for adverts. Since she did all these as a teenager, she didn't have the opportunity to go to college. Opportunity came for Monica who later left Nigeria and traveled abroad. She returned back to school ending up with graduate degrees. Monica faced the world of business, owning an insurance company and several real estate investments. Monica Insurance, I'm going to help you. Hi, can I get insurance? Yes, what kind of insurance? Uh, I'm looking for liability insurance. Liability insurance for your auto? Yes. Okay. Do you have a license? Yes. What's your license number? Let me get it. One second. 726. 726. 4118. As fate will have it, a close friend, Naomi Osagede, came to her with a proposal for a movie production. Though she didn't follow through with it, but it gave birth to another dream of show business. Another friend, Louisa Dade, did a movie in her town. During that production, she met Desmond Elliott and Robert Peters. She was later introduced to Lancelot Imaswen. A childhood friend, Reward James, approached her to be an executive producer for a film he was directing. This time, Monica took the bait and did invest in the movie. She was given a role to play also. It just seemed like things started happening at the same time. A lot of people didn't know she had a background in show business, and many were surprised finding out. A person that had a long relationship with the cameras and the crowd, this was something that came natural to Monica. So give it a name. She later produced her award winning movie titled Faces of Love with Robert Peters. Monica later decided to go to the studio to do the music soundtrack for the movie. Going back to the studio brought back so much memories 
and her longtime childhood friend and mentor, Leon Magic, convinced her to do a full album. He didn't understand why Monica forgot about her dreams in the first place. Back then, they all lived and dreamt music. A new dream was born. All the years of touring Africa and Europe has finally brought Monica back to her first love, which is show business. She is in a place now where she is comfortable and she believes that her dream of making an album all those years has finally come to pass. Monicization is the title of her album. Monica is ready to Monicanize the world with her own style of music. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the diva of our time, Monica.